it's hard to express myself at times. It just comes out as erratic, incoherent mishmash. But it, it hasn't always been that way. I have so much I want to say, but I don't, I don't know where to begin. So, so I just speak all the time about nothing, really. I can articulate inside my head, but ever since my breakdown, I, I only talk rubbish to people, really. Um, I, have, I have some moments of clarity with my partner, but mostly I speak bollocks. Even, even I don't know what I'm saying sometimes, most of the time. I feel that I irritate him a lot, but I know how hard it must be, so I understand. We, we used to laugh and piss around, we used to talk about our days and moan and complain, but, but, we, but we, we can't do that anymore. So, do you think I, I can swim now then? It's, it's dragging him down, it's stripping him of any dignity passion and, and, and maybe even love. I know he still loves me, but how long does that last, you know, before it turns into just sympathy? Do I wait around to see that? going. Come back. I've, I've got a stomach ache. I think it must have been the drink. I need a shit. Where can we go? We're in the middle of the hilltops. We still have sex but I tend to talk through most of it and I know that doesn't turn him on much. Why, why would it really? I try to speak from another person's psyche or perspective, just just to see if role playing will, will, will turn him on. But it doesn't really.
I gave you some money. Uh, did you take the money or did you use the car? Huh? What did you buy? Did you buy it for my car? Did you buy it for my car? Huh? Did you? Did you? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Okay. Did you? I used to love the water so much that the last time I swam in the ocean without a care in the world was, was a trip to Egypt four years ago. Jean had left me there whilst he went to the hotel to sleep. I, I was quite far out, just floating, nothing on my mind. The next thing I remember is, is, being, is being pulled under and sat on and, and punched by four men who, 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 who were mocking us on the beach a couple of hours prior. And if it wasn't for one of the men forcing the other three to stop in the end, I wouldn't have been here enduring this unbelievable phobia of water. One of them had some decency at least. Maybe he was the closet. They swam off and I slowly floated back to the shore. It's nice weather for it, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, why don't you just go in? Huh? Just go in. <sighs> um. Oh, just go. Come on. Take off. Go. Okay. Go. Take off your bottoms. Yes. Yes. swim so far out into the ocean and just get lost in the middle of nowhere. I could barely see the horizon and I would feel so peaceful and isolated from the real world. I, I needed that. To just look out everywhere and see nothing but water. I don't know how Jean can bear me sometimes. I don't know how he can bear to look at me. I'm just a gibbering, anxious mess. I constantly feel compelled to speak, to, to communicate all the time unless I'm asleep. It's just getting a little bit better over time. I'm learning to feel comfortable with silence for a few seconds at a time. When I swam, I was able to remain silent for hours. <laughs> 